Welcome to Tesla Joe's, where we test everyday average Joe scenarios that you might encounter in your Tesla. Before we get started today, please make sure to subscribe, like, and share our videos. Today we're going to be doing some learning about our Model S, and we're going to learn about our options when we have no power. Maybe this is an emergency scenario or you've lost power to the vehicle. We're going to go over the different ways to open the front doors, the back doors, and the trunk of your vehicle. I've also included a way to open your charging port in case of power loss or your charging port is not responding to the electronic mechanism. First we're going to take a look at our front door. You'll notice that the latching mechanism for the front doors is actually part of the door panel and the post that holds the door is part of the frame. To open your front door in the case of an electronic power loss, you will just continue to pull the handle as far as you can. Once you get about three quarters of the way, it will open the door with no power. As we move on to the back doors, you'll notice that the setup's different. The post is on the door panel and the latching mechanism is actually part of the car body. So the exact opposite of the front doors. What you're gonna to wanna to do to find the manual release here is it's located directly under the seats in the rear. You'll see this small little tab in the carpet that we're seeing here. Right now we're on the passenger side of the vehicle. And then you'll see this small black tab that indicates this will open the door. In the case of emergency and or power loss, you are simply going to pull this tab. Pulling this tab will manually open the door latch for the rear doors. If we move over to the driver's side in the rear seat, the location is the exact same. I need to move my all-weather floor mat out of the way there. But directly below that seat on the driver's side in the back, there's another carpet tab. Inside that carpet tab, you'll see a black plastic tab that is attached to a cable, and that cable will manually open that rear door, once again, in case of emergency. As you can see here on the screen, our door is now open. Here we're taking a look at the back trunk of the vehicle or the back hatch of your Model S. I'm actually inside the trunk, but we need to get out of the trunk. And the electronic power is not working, so none of the buttons are working, the remote's not working. So you pull off that plastic piece there, and now you have, again, a, a cable pull with a little plastic piece on it. The manual release is activated and we're able to open our trunk. Another manual release point or an emergency release point is found in the trunk is that of the charging port. It's going to be on your driver's side as you open the trunk and it's hidden behind a little panel. You can hear it activating there. It's very hidden. It's that very tiny little lever there. All you need to do is pull that towards the front of the vehicle and you'll hear it activate in order to open up the charge port if it's locked or the cable stuck, something along those lines. Put your little carpet piece back in and you're all set. Thanks for joining Tesla Joe's today. Please like, share, and subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter at Tesla Joe's. Today we took the time to learn about the different manual and or emergency releases that are available to your Model S. We looked at the front doors, we looked at the rear doors, we looked at the back hatch and trunk, and then we also took a look at the charging port.